Today, we start on a new project. And this is a fairly interesting one, although I'm not going to carry it all the way to the end. I just do one, a couple of segments for this guy. Back Basically, what we're doing here, if you can see the, the, this part of the drawing, is this is the shaft, and this is going to be a sphere. And uh, basically the shaft's going to sit on two bearings and the sphere is going to spin. So, um, you know, uh, we're going to do a quick sketch for him and, uh, and come up with something that he may or may not like and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we got the first part of the drawings finished. Well, not finished, but uh, certainly to the next stage. And uh, if you're looking at this, you're looking at the in view. And basically this, this uh, little center circle is the shaft coming toward us. And then the rest of that is, is the ball with, with eight magnets around the edge and then four magnets around the, well, not exactly the edge, but, uh, well, let's go up to the upper drawing and you'll see it. Here's the shaft. So this basically, you take this drawing and you rotate it around and you could look at it from this direction. So then we've got eight magnets and then four magnets. And that's basically what he wants with this 12 inch shaft. And so there we go. Well, hi, this is uh, Nick Collier. Uh, we're out in the machine shop part of my world. Uh, uh, Juan in, uh, I think he's in Florida, has uh, this uh, motor that he's making and I'm going to make the armature and a little bit of the uh, frame for him. Uh, and, and basically we're going to start with this four inch slug of, uh, of aluminum and uh, first thing I want to do is get it centered in the, uh, in the chuck so I can put a, uh, you know, drill a center hole and then uh, and give it a little support. So uh, basically, uh, we're just going to spin it around, and I got about you know eight inches of uh, play in here or of movement. So I'll come in with uh, let's see, kind of tap it back a little bit. All right, we're a little closer. We're getting there, just a tad more, and we're close enough to call it a day. This is, we're not going for real accurate at this point. We're just trying to find a center, a reasonable center, because basically uh, I'm going to be making a sphere out of the end of this plug of, of aluminum. All right, we've got about three or four thousandths of play in there. I think that's plenty. And uh, so let's snug this down. Make a quick spin one more time. Looks like that brought it down even more. So we've got uh, two or three thousandths. Well, yeah, that's plenty. Okay, get rid of the indicator. And uh, let's just start it up and see what it looks like. Spin wise, looks pretty good. So at this point we can come in and uh, put a uh, center bit, center drill in the in the chuck. and find ourselves a little center hole here. Don't need much of one. This is like we're going to be really honking on this uh, piece of metal. For one, it's aluminum, which is uh, pretty soft as it is and easy, fairly pliable. And for the other, we're not going to be doing uh, any 
automatic power power news because uh, most of it is um, with the uh, radius tool that I built oh three or four months ago. Okay, we'll kind of get everything out of the way here. Nice. And uh, oh, that's right. We need to bring. Let's see, how can we do that? Hmm. So we're going to need to take the, the, um, yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Just thinking on my feet here. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, in order to get this thing to work properly, uh, I had to move the carriage all the way to the other end of the lathe, take the tailstock off of the lathe, and bring it over and put it in place here. And I think we're going to get uh, good support and we're, since we're not using the carriage in this part of the project, uh, we can uh, just, you know, put it over there, leave it, leave it alone. So uh, we've got the uh, tailstock set up. We're uh, fairly tight. We're square up against here. I'd say let's uh, try tightening things up a little bit more just to make sure we're there. Okay. Now uh, we go ahead and put the radius uh, tool in place and we're going to pull a three and a half inch radius out of this piece of stock which is going to give us, uh, take up about, oh, I don't know, this much room and uh, we're going to create, in a sense, we're going to create a sphere. Um, so keep your fingers crossed, it may work. Okay, we got the radius cutter in place and we're going to start cutting. Now what I notice right away is, of course, I have a 4 inch plug and a 3 and a half inch radius that I'm cutting. So that makes for uh, a little bit of a problem. But we just keep trimming away at it and I think it'll be fine. I need a bottom. Okay, a little leverage will help. So for the moment, I'm going to come in and just come and cut my radius to a 90 degree until I get it all the way in. And then I'll be able to cut the back side of this uh, the radius and make a, uh, a full uh, sphere out of it. So do the trick for the moment. So then, uh, looking for my wrench. When things get moved around, I, I get a little confused. Ah, there it is. So we're basically going to go ahead and move our radius tool in, oh, just eighth of an inch or so. And we, you know, we can speed this thing up a little bit. Tighten it up. And we're going to take another cut.
And as you can tell, this is going to be a fairly slow process. So maybe I'll turn you off for the moment until we get a little further down the line. Okay, here we are. We're, uh, we're starting to show just a bit of a radius on that, uh, on that slug. And that's looking good. We'll come back in here in a minute. Or actually, let's just switch around a little bit. And I think we can just follow along as we make the next cut. We're just going to take the butt of the hammer and tap it in, oh, about a quarter of an inch. Seems like a quarter of an inch is just fine for the, uh, for the aluminum. Tighten up the back. Put our cheater bar in and start pulling. And at one point I was going to head, uh, go ahead and put uh, a power unit on this to get it to turn uh, accurately, consistently, but I, you know, it, with just a steady pull, this thing, this thing turns beautifully. So I'm just going to leave it hand operated. It takes a little more concentration, but hey, it's not like I do this every day. So we'll come back after we get a little bit more. So oh, we've had to take this thing and my um, my uh, radius tool wouldn't uh, come inside here when this thing was flipped around. So we flipped it around and we've uh, squared it up. <coughs> then we've come in and, uh, and um, uh, radius the hole um, and also bored that hole so it was accurate. And now I'm going to put a shaft in that hole so that I can flip this thing back around and put the shaft in the uh, chuck and have uh, this whole part sticking out here out in the open air so that my radius tool can rotate around and also I've uh, you know kind of taken it hogged out some of the some of the material in this so uh, next step is we're going to um, go ahead and put the shaft in here and machine that down so that so that it fits the hole so we bored a hole in the aluminum and then we turned down the shank of a you know, little piece of uh, you know hot roll and press fit that into the uh, aluminum piece now we're going to turn it on and see how close we are not too bad i mean it is off but uh it looks like the ball could be just fine the way it is So if you look at it, right in here, where I made contact with the bore, it's floppy as heck. And I don't know how that happened, but it did happen. And so, uh, so what that means is that the whole piece is a little bit off. So what I've done is I've come in here and located a center on the back side of this shaft. And then... Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to come in to the front side of this shaft and turn, oh, maybe about six inches of it so that I can, uh, so that that's nice and straight and I can fit it in the lathe. And I think once it's fit in the lathe, it's going to be just fine. I hope. 